Hey basketball players, today I am going to be talking to you about Duncan Robinson and how he is able to get so many open shots in his games. Let's get down and let's check out Duncan Robinson. So before we look at Duncan Robinson, really quickly, I just want to give you a few tips. First off, if there's anything happening on this side of the court and you're the only one, this is Duncan Robinson over there, on that side of the court, you have a couple of different areas that you need to cut to. First, if you are up here, you can do a down cut, or at least what we call a down cut, from this position down to this position. There's also a position up here that you can cut to as well. And you can cut from here to here to get yourself open away from the defender. You can also cut from this position up to this position. And that is what we see Duncan Robinson doing right here in this clip. We have a screen happening in the high post and we're having this player who's then using that screen. Because this screen and roll is happening, this is now bringing in that help side defender slightly and Duncan Robinson is able to notice that and he is now cutting up to this position on the court. This is why I really like to teach the five-out offense to players and teams, especially when they're really young, because there are five positions on the court along the perimeter. This is one, this is another, this is another, there's another one over here, and there's another one over here. And it's not just a simple basketball play, but it also teaches players on how uh, different areas of the court where they can cut to if they feel like they could get open. It's all about off-ball movement and learning how to move without the basketball. And that's what we have Duncan Robinson doing here. He's cutting up from that low corner and he's able to get that shot off. Now, he is a very quick shooter and the reason why he's able to get that shot off here is because he's able to hop in to his shooting form which allows him to be able to get it off right really quickly and we did break this down in a previous video on this channel and because of that he's able to get that shot off and score now something else that he does like I was mentioning is he in this clip is cutting from that wing down to the corner especially when there's a player who is driving on the other side of the court and you are on the weak side or at least the non-ball side this really brings that player or your defender down to play help defense and now with this player driving he can do what's called a hammer pass out basically a pass from behind the backboard out to you in this case Duncan Robinson who is wide open. Now this works extremely well for Duncan Robinson because Jason Tatum, he was helping out on this cut here. He's also should have been really helping out here but he's afraid of Duncan Robinson taking that three point shot. And because of that, he now turns his back totally to Duncan Robinson and that allows Duncan Robinson to be able to bang that shot wide open. This is another example where he's able to go from the wing down to the corner and take that shot. Now, I just really want to point out really quickly, check out how fast his release is. He's able to catch that ball without dropping the ball to go back up. This is something that I did break down in a previous video and it should be linked, if I remember, up top here. And he's able to bang that shot as well. Now something that he does extremely well as uh, as well is because he's able to really find open spots in the transition. So here we had Jimmy Butler driving towards the rim. We had Bam cutting towards the rim as well which really collapses all the defenders down. We have Marcus Smart who's technically needing to defend two players. Now this is just a highlight that I am cutting but I'm not too sure who's a player he's supposed to be guarding. I don't know who Marcus Smart was supposed to be guarding in this play. I can't remember. But from there, he was able to find the open spot. Nobody's on him. Butler is able to then kick that ball out, and he's able to bang that shot basically wide open. He did miss it, though. But this is another great example of what you do when you miss a shot. 
If you miss a shot, you need to do one of a few things. You either need to chase it down to get your own rebound or find another open area of the court so that you can get a second chance three-point shot. And that's what we had Duncan Robinson do here. He missed that shot. He stood there for a second saying, I think I got it. And no, I didn't. And now what's going to happen is he's doing nothing. We have three players who are like, I'm going to try and get the rebound. And nobody's really doing all that much. Jimmy Butler is the one who was hungry for that rebound. And now he turns around looking for the outlet. Maybe they can kick it out, swing it around, maybe drive, whatever. But instead, Duncan Robinson finds the open corner and bangs it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of players all the time saying, Hey, 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 I'm open. Yo, 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 look at me, I'm open. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that really just draws in a lot of defenders. But what we have here is somebody who is being double teamed in the low post. And we have nobody over here. Like, literally nobody within 20 feet. So because of that, he is, I'm going to give him a wide open, like, hey, yes, go and call for the ball. And if you are wide open, whether you are a good three-point shooter or not, you really need to get that ball. Because even if you are a 5% three-point shooter and you are wide open, if you were playing on my team, I would give you a green light every single day. And... That's what happens here. He's wide open, he called for it, and he bangs it. Now another thing that Duncan Robinson does extremely well that allows him to get open shots is the fact that he uses dribble handoffs and screens quite well. Now off of this dribble handoff, how was he able to get that wide open shot? Well first off, he really brushed Bam Adebayo extremely close, which then forces his defender to try and fight through. It also helps that Bam is a supreme amazing screener, but let's check out Duncan Robinson's footwork. So he's able to get that ball. He still hasn't really taken a dribble. He hasn't taken a dribble, but he still hasn't really taken a step yet. That's technically his first step because he gets the possession right there. That's his first step. Now, he needs to either take that shot on the second step or he needs to drive on this first step, one or the other. And from there, what he's able to do is he hops into off of that right foot, he hops into that shot. He goes right foot, hop, lands on two. Why is he allowed to do this and not get called for a travel? Let me explain. So that right foot is his first step. And now he's allowed one more step if he shoots. Only if he shoots. If he stops and doesn't shoot, then it's a travel. And from there, he's able to now land on both feet. If you land on both feet at the exact same time, that's classified as one step. This is why this is not a travel and why he's able to go up for that shot and he's able to bang it. Now this is something that you don't just be able to do on one side, you have to be able to do it on both sides whether you're right handed or left. And that's what we see here. He's able to receive that ball. He actually receives the ball here in the air it looks like. And because of that, he could still technically take two steps after he lands on that left foot. So he lands on that left foot, but he hops into his shot, into that two-foot landing, and he's able to take that shot. Now, this is all able to happen because he brushes off that screen, he hops off of his left foot, gets into his shooting form, and he's able to then bang that shot. Now, in those times where it's a very close defender and he has a, still a very solid screen and he gets hit on that when he's on that left foot, you can still go and receive two steps because he received it right on that step, bang, bang. And now, because of this, he's able to now hit that shot. So he's able to land right, left, both of his feet are in shooting facing forward position because that's his shooting form again go check out that link in the top if I remember to put it there and he's able to bang that shot these are this is all footwork that you can do to be able to have quicker shots but also wide open shots now let's not forget if your player fights through that screen and then gets behind you don't allow him to get away with that as soon as that defender gets behind you like we have here what you need to do right away 
is to drive towards the basket. Allow him to get right behind you. He is literally in jail right now. There's nothing he can do. He is behind you. He can't reach around to steal the ball. He can't block your shot. He is literally screwed in a, in a sense. And because of that, you need to drive towards the basket. And if you are a screener is extremely smart, he will also roll towards the basket as well. So now it's a two-on-one situation. And of course, one of thing, two things is going to happen. Either this defender is going to come over and totally cut you off where this player is now going to have a bounce pass or an alley-oop up towards the rim. Or he's going to stay in the middle and say, well, I don't know who to defend and you can go in for a layup. So it's totally, basically, a wide open shot either way, no matter what happens. And I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.